Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So we got here another box. So it's been in here for like a week now because I've been kind of busy with things and stuff and all that. And right now I'm uploading my vlog. Um, here we go. It's uploading. It's been uploading for three hours now because of the Wi-Fi that we are using. Globe, come on. So we are going to unbox this. Um, it's from a coffee company called Binhi. Uh, they sent me one of their products uh, and I can't wait to taste it. I asked them what's special about their coffee and they said that a lot of uh, local coffee brands here don't really sell a uh, real Sagada coffee. So I'm going to try out if they really do sell that Sagada, uh, that Sagada coffee because you know Sagada has this kind of a sweet accent, that sweet taste. It's not that strong for me because I have a Sagada here. Um, it's it's okay, it's strong, but it has this sweet taste. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like that sweet taste. But they claim that this one is the real Sagada. So I'm gonna try it out. Let's try it out. Let's unbox this. But I won't be the one unboxing this. I'm gonna let my bro unbox this because I will be filming it. I will do a B-roll unboxing. So it's, it's not me who's gonna cut it open and stuff. It's going to be a B-roll kind of thing. So um, here we go. Unboxing B-roll. So this here is the Bean Heat. Um, I like the packaging. This one is my favorite so far. So this one was brewed July 14th. I know it's it's really, really late because it's been in the box for like how many weeks now? I haven't opened it. I just opened it right now. It's today is August. Today is August 4. Um, I'm so sorry to Bean Heat for not opening this for like uh, how many weeks I've been kind of busy with some some things so I just opened it now and I'm gonna try their uh, Sagada this one is not that fine grind so I wanted to try the I want to try it with my espresso machine um, I don't know if hmm, should I okay fine yeah I'm going to try it with my espresso machine I'm gonna try it if it's good if it's not good but um here we go this is the bean heat. I'm gonna try it as an espresso. If it's good for espresso, if if it's not good, then I'll I'll just do it with me, with my normal brewing thing. Um, I'll just make it normally. So uh, right now I'm just gonna try it with my espresso machine if it's good. This one is their Sagada. Um, they said that a lot of uh, most um, local brands here in the Philippines don't really sell. Uh, legit Sagada and they claim that this one is legit this is the real Sagada so I don't want to ruin it by espresso oh, okay so I can do it with espresso here we go see it's okay for espresso so good thing they put it here here are the benefits it's antioxidant good for the heart yes good for the brain um, too bad I don't have that Good for the liver. Oh yeah. You know, for the liver, where is the liver? 
sa likod, sure ka, sa, sa yung liver. And it helps protect against type 2 diabetes. So, we don't want that. We don't want any diabetes in our heart, in our blood, in our body. Can aid in weight loss. So, this one. This one is so good. So, I'm so glad that they put that there, the benefits and all. Because a lot of um, coffee, local coffee brands don't even put that there. Uh, so, yeah. And I love the way that they, they included our own um, writing thing. This is the Bye Bye In. Um, I'm really glad that they put it there because a lot of Filipinos now don't really, don't really appreciate this kind of writing. They don't appreciate our own thing. And, you know, this is a local brand. So, a local brand supporting our local own writing. It's just, this is the real deal. So, Yes, I would really recommend you buying this. This is the Binti. So I'm gonna try it out using my espresso machine that doesn't really give um, good espresso, but I'm still gonna try it. If that don't work out, uh, I'm gonna just drink it how I normally drink coffee. And that's with brewing with my own pour over coffee. So that's my pour over. Um, I'm gonna try it out maybe after this but uh, right now it's gonna try the espresso one let's see how that uh, will turn out so this is the sagada i'm gonna try their sagada they also sent me their uh barako uh this is the coarse grind as well so this is the barako premium uh, i'm gonna be trying this out maybe tomorrow as well so uh this one is you know because i like strong coffee so this one, I think I'm gonna like this one as well. And also their Arabica. And they have other flavors as well. They have the Benguet, Espresso. I should have asked with Espresso one, huh? <laughs> uh, the Baraco, Hazelnut, Vanilla, Macadamia, and also Green Coffee. So what? what is Green Coffee? I don't know, maybe it has this like matcha thing. So this one is a uh, medium rose, coarse grind. And I'm gonna be grinding it with my grinder because this is not fine grind. And what you want in your espresso machine is fine grind. That's how you make espresso with fine grind coffee. And this one has coarse grind, it's just for those brewing things. So let's grind this up. So I got here my grinder. This was a gift, and uh, this is her at right here. This is her Instagram. Go ahead and follow her. She uh she gave this to me as a gift because it's almost my birthday this August 10th. So uh, she gave me this and it's so great because I really, really planned to buy one. And yeah, it just surprised me yesterday. So thank you so much for this wonderful gift. If, if you want to send me gifts. <clears throat> okay, so this one right now, I'm going to try the Sagada. Let's see. Open it up. By the way, their links will be down below as always. This is the Binghi uh, coffee. So go ahead and try out their products. If I like this Sagada one, I'm, I'm gonna be recommending this all the time. So I hope that I make this right because I will be doing the espresso one. So I hope I get this right. If not, oh man. Alright, here we go. First time smelling this. And I have cold. Wow. Okay, I love the smell. I love the aroma. It has this strong smell that I love. Nice. It smells different from the Sagada that I have. So right now I'm gonna put here. So it has a limit here. I will just do the limit thing. So they've already grind this, so this is just coarse grind. I'm just gonna be grinding it again because I will be using an espresso machine. But I don't recommend this. I know this is wrong. But um, I wanna do it. I wanna make an espresso. So I have to grind it again. And also follow me on TikTok. I'm on TikTok by the way. Follow me on TikTok. I make TikToks now. Good boy. It smells so awesome. So make sure you clean 
your filter and your quarter filter before using it always clean it and also refill your um espresso machine this is my espresso machine it doesn't give that good uh, espresso uh, i really don't kind of like it but you know this is just for practice as well so um i hope this one will turn out good this here is the espresso machine so make sure that you close the top very very nice and tight because it is you know the pressure and stuff is there <laughs> Press it nicely. so here we go here it is see the color yeah so i love the medium rose color i know that i may have done this wrong but um it's okay this is just you know i'm not really a professional so uh i'm just doing this because i love coffee and i really really want to learn so uh now i'm just gonna turn this on heat it up get it nice and hot and i'll wait get it locked The espresso. The espresso. So this espresso machine doesn't give that much a uh, good crema. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the way you know the pressure, the pressure thing. It really doesn't give that much uh, good crema, and also it drips everywhere. So here it is. Here's the espresso. I hope I did this right because I really, really want to taste a cigada. It's actually good. That's good espresso. I have, I have no milk pitcher, but I'm gonna use this for the milk foaming thing. I hope this one works. So you don't want <laughs> bubbles in your milk. I kind of made <laughs> so this is like an I just made a latte art or something. Is this latte art or not? I said I was gonna make a cappuccino, but turns out I made latte. This is latte. This is art. Now uh, this is abstract. If you don't understand this artwork, then you don't know any art. This is abstract, abstract art. So uh, right now I'm gonna try my latte kind of thing. I mean, okay, now the foam is gone. Just disappeared that quick, so uh, I don't know what happened. But uh, I tasted the Sagada, the, the, just the espresso, and it's so good. So I'm gonna try the latte one. Oh my gosh, that is good latte. Okay. So I think I'm improving now because I was going to make a cappuccino kind of foam thing but it turned out to be latte and I made sort of a latte kind of art that is art if you don't understand the art then you don't know any art you don't know art and that one was art that one was a um, an abstract kind of art so if you, if you didn't understand it understand it really deeply just you know um internalize good go, go ahead guys um i really highly recommend this this is the bean heat a uh, coffee this one is their sagada oh it makes good good espresso it makes good latte um this is if you don't know latte this is just espresso with milk so oh it's so good you don't need to put sugar because sagada has al already has a sweetness into it I mean, it has that, uh, it has this uh, sweet um, taste, flavor kind of thing. So you guys will really, really do love this. This is their Sagada. Um, go ahead and try it. 
and also this is their Barako. Also, try out their Barako. Um, this one is going to be a little strong as it is Barako. So uh, go ahead, um, check them out. This is their um, products. I mean, they have more products there. Um, go ahead and check them out. Um, links will be down below as always. Go ahead, support our local brand, support our local businesses, support our local farmers, support our local beans. If you love coffee, switch to your locally sourced now because locally sourced actually source their coffee beans straight from local farmers so it helps our farmers as well a lot of people don't really appreciate our local source because you know three-in-one coffee instant coffee and all those coffee are easy to do so a lot of people just buy those instead of this a lot of, a lot of people just buy those uh, unhealthy coffee coffee that uh, contains too much sugar contains too much preservatives um, this one switch to a healthier and better coffee lifestyle so switch to your locally sourced now a lot of my coffee are locally sourced if you've uh, been following me here on on youtube and also on my instagram and also on my facebook page a lot of my coffee are locally sourced so um their links will be down below go ahead check them out uh go switch to your locally sourced now live a better and healthier coffee lifestyle so uh, thank you so much Bin Ki uh, Coffee for trusting me with your product. Thank you for giving me this wonderful, wonderful coffee. I really, really loved it. Um, it works well with my espresso. This is the first time that I've made good espresso. So uh, and luckily I made it with your product, the Bin Ki, because I've been really, really practicing with my espresso and everything just keeps, uh, you know, being a mess turning out uh, just a failed espresso and right now I think I just did justice with your coffee um, it made me good latte so uh, thank you guys for watching um, like subscribe follow my Instagram and also my TikTok <laughs> yeah I do make TikToks now it's going to be in the link in the description thank you guys for watching and again as always Enjoy your coffee.